Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our first set of notes for Q6, and it says I can find values using function graphs. I like to review the table, so we know that a table makes an ordered pair, and an ordered pair is an X and a Y. Another word for an ordered pair will be the X value and the Y value, as well as X is represented by the word input, Y is represented by the word output. We also have the X value within the domain and the Y value within a range. Another term would be independent. And dependent. Now we can talk about restrictive values on a graph. If we look at the graph of this function, we look at the right hand side of the graph, we have an open dot. Now an open dot means that the x and y values are not included. Next, I have a closed dot. The closed dot on the graph means that the x and y values are included. So x and y values are included. And we're going to need this in our examples for later on. Here's our first example. Plot the point on this function with an x value of 5. What is the y value at this point? So it's asking you to use the vocabulary that we were using before. So at x equals 5 is right in here. So I'm going to go all the way up. And my y value is going to be a 7. So I now say that y equals 7. Okay, so here's a new graph. Example 2 says plot the point of this function with a y value of 3. So that means I'm going to give the x value. So the y value of 3, y equals 3 is right here. Let's kind of draw the line out. And we're going to stop at our x. So our x value is x equals 7. That's where the point lines up. Okay, our next example, plot the point of this function with an x a value of 7. What is the y value? So let's find 7 on the graph. It's an x value, so I'm going to start with the x. So I say x equals 7, and I'm going to go up. And I find the intersection. So this y value, this is y equals 1. So what is the y value of this point? y equals 1. All right, what inputs, that's plural, of this function have an output a negative 2? Remember, we said that output is a y value. So we are going to be working on the y-axis at negative 2. So what I like to do is just kind of find negative 2 and draw a line. And then I look for the points of intersection. OK, so if you notice, I have two of them. So it says, what are my inputs? So that means it's asking me for my x values. It's the same thing as my inputs. And I have two of them. So the first one is going to be negative 2. And the second one, because we're talking about our 
x is right, so x equals negative 2. And the second one is going to be x equals 8. Okay, use this graph to find f to find the solutions of f of x equals 8. We need to talk about that. So we know that x comma y is an ordered pair. The second part of that is going to be f and f of x. So it's a function of x. And so you can say that x equals the f. And then you can also say that y equals f of x. Well, if your f of x is 8, that means I'm looking on the y value. Where y equals 8. And when I do that, I'm going to go across. Right, because this is where y equals 8. It says, use this graph to find the solutions. So the solution right here, I'm looking for my f or my x. It's going to be negative 10. So I have x is negative 10. And then my second solution is right here. If I go down to my x, so it's negative 10 and 6. Okay, so now the last one, it says use this graph to find g and to find the solutions to g of x equals negative 2. So that's the y. So what happens right here? g of x equals negative 2. So you're saying that y equals negative 2 and I want to know what's happening at each intersection. I need to find the solutions. I need to find x equals. So I'm going to have more than one. Okay, so if I start on the left, I get x equals negative 10. I have negative 2, so and then I can say 0. And then next, I can say positive 10. So x equals negative 10, 0, and 10. Now, what's important, though, is that I did notice that I had something that was open and I had something that was closed. Okay, use this graph to find the g and to find the solutions of g of x equals 2. So it's like saying that y equals 2. So I'm going to go across on y. So I have two intersections. And those are solid, right? Because they go through that point. So my first x value, or my g which is the same thing because this means x value is going to be negative 8. My second one happens right here, so between 8 and 10, so that's going to be 9. 